Removing regular ink from an Epson EcoTank printer, installing sublimation ink, special instructions, the best results possible. That's what you're going to see here in this video. Hey, what's going on? The printer guy here. And in this video, I'm going to be showing you how to remove your old regular ink that's already in your Epson EcoTank printer and install sublimation ink. Now, this does not apply to you if you are starting fresh and you have an Epson EcoTank printer uh, that is brand new. You can simply install the sublimation ink. This is specifically for those that have regular ink already installed in their printer. That means they already set up their printer. You already installed the regular ink. You need to remove that ink. And this is going to be the best video that you can watch watch online to show you how to do it step by step with the best printers cleaning kit this kit is going to be linked down in the description below i'll talk about it later in the video and there's some other product links i'll leave down there as well all right so getting right into the instructions the very first step is we need to get access to the print head we're going to do that by printing off a sheet of paper or you can click this button it'll run a sheet of paper through you want to get the print head moving because we need it to be unlocked in order to work on it if this video ends up being helpful please make sure to like the video any questions at all comment below and if you want more content like this please make sure to subscribe so as the paper is printing as it's moving back and forth and you could really do any print job and while it is printing you're going to remove the power cable so you're going to unplug the printer this will not cause damage i've done it hundreds of times and this is simply going to make the print head be in an unlocked position so that you can access it now this is instruction specifically for the epson ecotank 2400 just this portion because uh, accessing the print head is a little different for each printer you can browse my channel and see the specific instructions on how to do this with a repair video for the specific printer model that you have now just to clarify these instructions are going to be compatible for any epson ecotank printer uh, the only difference here is getting to the point where you can access the print head this is one of the more simple parts of this process and of course like i said you can get those instructions on my youtube channel for your specific epson ecotank model so once we've got the print head unlocked we are now going to use the best printers cleaning kit uh, now this cleaning kit is what you're going to use to actually transfer your regular ink out of the printer and then of course you can just install sublimation ink with the bottled ink and i'll show you how to do that at the end of the video i will actually install sublimation ink on this printer uh, but there's going to be two parts to this so uh, there's two ways you can use this cleaning kit uh, now it's called a cleaning kit because it primarily is used to clean the print head on these printers and that is an aspect of what we're going to be doing here but i'll get to that later on in the video uh, there's going to be two parts to using this syringe in the first half of this video, I'm going to show you how to use it with attachments. And then I'm going to show you a method to use it without attachments. You can go either way. Honestly, I think the attachments are easier. Now you need to understand that these uh, supply lines, uh, this is how the ink gets from the tank into that cartridge and makes it to the print head where you ultimately are able to print from. And so what we need to do is we need to remove the supply line so you can pinch the end of it from that cartridge and start to pull it off. There's nothing holding it in place, so you should be able to remove it fairly easily. Make sure you're using gloves. This can get quite messy. And there is ink inside of this cartridge, but we're gonna deal with that later on in the video. We first off want to make sure uh, that we can remove the ink from the tanks. Now this is part one of how you can use the cleaning kit to actually remove ink from the tanks. And this is gonna be the best way to do this. You're gonna get all of the ink virtually out of the system. And you basically will take the syringe, the silicone tubing that usually is already attached to the syringe in the kit, and you're gonna take the small L-shaped piece. There should be two of them, but you're gonna take one of those, and then you're gonna connect one end to the silicone tubing, and the other end you're gonna to connect to that supply line. Uh, now you see that I've skipped around a little bit. Uh, I have uh, started working on the uh, yellow color and what's gonna end up happening is I'm gonna kind of work backwards. So I'm gonna be doing yellow and then later on you'll see me doing cyan. So at this point, all of those cartridges for every single color are removed and now all of those lines are clear. So I would get a paper towel, uh, put the supply line over the paper towel so that if there's any spillage, it goes on there and not in the printer. And you're gonna begin to suction out as much ink as possible into a plastic container just like this one now at this point you can see that cyan magenta and most of the yellow is fully removed with this syringe you're gonna have to connect it three times to each color and you're gonna suction out two full loads and then the last one is gonna be a half load of ink 
So this does take some patience and you do want to make sure that you allow adequate time for this uh, because you won't be able to print maybe for half a day or a day depending on how long it takes you to do this. But uh, this now what I'm showing you on screen is the uh, part two of how to use this syringe and this is the harder method so I'm not going to spend too much time on this but this goes back to the beginning of this process where I started with cyan and basically you can connect directly to the syringe it's just a little bit more challenging uh, but that's just two different ways I highly recommend you just end up using uh, the attachments like I showed you in the beginning of this video at this point I'm just circling back showing you how I removed the cyan from the ink tanks hopefully you have a clear image of what it is you need to do in order to remove all of the ink from your ink tanks now we're gonna deal with the ink that's inside those cartridges we can't leave that ink in there because we don't want it mixing up with sublimation ink and the last part of this video I'm gonna be talking about the cleaning of the print heads and why that's important it goes hand in hand with why we're doing this and suctioning this ink out of the cartridge now you need to position it exactly how I have it uh, because that is how the ink is going to be suctioned out the best way possible and you want to make sure you suction out as much as possible. We don't want any of that regular ink to stay in the cartridge. So of course you can repeat this process with the remaining colors. Now if you wanted to elevate the purity of your sublimation ink, you're going to want to do a print head cleaning. The reason why you would want to do it is because you already have the cleaning kit and there is regular ink that is in the print head and you want to make sure that that is flushed from the print head so doing this will actually increase the purity of your sublimation prints from the beginning there will be no regular ink left in the system please go to my channel page for your specific printer model you can go to videos and then click on the search bar uh, there you can type in your specific printer model if you don't find your exact printer instructions on how to do the cleaning and it will look something like that second thumbnail, then you can simply use a video of a similar model. All right, so of course that cleaning is optional and at this point we want to proceed with the actual conversion of removing regular ink and installing sublimation ink. And at this point we want to make sure that all of the regular ink is out of the tanks, out of the cartridges, and if that is the case then we can begin to reattach the cartridges to the ink supply lines. Now you want to make sure that the correct colored supply line goes to the correct colored cartridge and so to do that make sure you use the pattern that is here on the screen. If all else fails there should be some of that ink residue that tells you which color is which on the cartridge and on the supply line. We're going to replace that uh, print head cover. So at this point we have essentially gotten to the end of this process. All there really is left to do is make sure that those uh, cables don't get disconnected for this specific model but you're going to reattach everything, make sure everything goes back the way that it needs to go back uh, and as long as that is the case then you can proceed with actually installing sublimation ink. There's going to be a link down in the description below for the compatible sublimation ink for many of the Epson EcoTank models. Uh, it's going to be basically a universal fit for the majority of the Epson EcoTanks. And so you can use that link down in the description below. It's going to be the second link under the cleaning kit link. And that will allow you to buy sublimation ink directly from us, whether it's a third party seller that we endorse or our own best printers products. Now you're going to install this sublimation ink as if it's regular ink there's really no difference between the installation uh, all it is is you want to make sure that the ink actually is flowing from the bottle down into the tanks and to ensure that you can kind of move it up and down if you need to we are almost done but we're not quite there yet once all of the ink is fully installed we will need to run a power cleaning and we're gonna have to do that with this specific printer in a specific way but if you have another Epson EcoTank model such as the uh, 2850, uh, 3850, 4850 or previous models that are similar to those, you will be able to do the power cleaning directly with the buttons on the screen. Uh, but with this specific model, it's a little bit more complicated. So at this point, we can plug the printer back in once we have installed the ink. So like I said, to do a power cleaning for the Epson EcoTank 2400 model, uh, this is what you'll have to do. You'll have to go into your Bluetooth and devices, find your printer, and then you're going to go to the settings, which is under printer preferences. Uh, from printer preferences, you can then select maintenance. And then from maintenance, you should have the option to do a power cleaning. 
on other Epson EcoTank models, the process is much simpler for you to do a power cleaning. And essentially why we want to do a power cleaning is so that all of that sublimation ink, that new sublimation ink is going to be pushed into those supply lines, into those makeshift cartridges, and down through the print head so that you can begin printing with sublimation ink. Now you may need to do this power cleaning several times. And the way to make sure that you have your highest print quality and everything is running smoothly, all the ink is flowing the way it needs to, is you're going to print a nozzle report. Uh, and you're going to make sure that all of those colors, all of those lines are coming out just like it is here on the screen. This report is a perfect report. That is how your line should be coming out. This is an example of how you don't want them to look. Uh, on the left, you have uh, really bad supply lines, really bad ink flow, and on the right, you have a fully functioning ink system. So that is what you want to see at the end of this process with your sublimation ink. Keep in mind, it may look like this, so you may wanna buy a couple of uh, bottles of ink. That's because that whole system just sucked in a bunch of ink. So you really may need to buy two sets of that sublimation ink that is linked down in the description below. That's really all there is to it. Thank you so much for watching until the end of this video. I handpicked two videos that are here on the screen for you to watch next. Also consider subscribing to this channel. There's so much helpful content for you if you're a printer owner, and it's just good to have a resource like this for you in the future, whether you're dealing with a printer that's not printing well or you need more printer recommendations. So I look forward to seeing you again in another video. Oh.